That's really good. It's bomb, right? It's 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 like a breakfast dessert. Well, welcome to today's vlog. So you guys have been asking me over and over for a full day of eating video. So I'm gonna give you a full day of eating video. Right now I'm eating 2,350 calories, 230 grams of protein. I'm gonna break down exactly what I'm eating to hit those numbers. And I'm also gonna be doing a simple and cheap meal prep for you guys. Look, this doesn't have to be rocket science. It just takes a little bit of preparation. I got my friend Kim with me today. She's gonna be helping me out because y'all know I can't cook. So without further ado, let's jump to the supermarket and grab some food. came back from the supermarket and before I get into the details of what we actually picked up it is 1202 so I eat two meals a day I, ate, I break my fast about 12 o'clock and we're gonna get into my first meal of the day which is oatmeal and I normally eat the same foods every single day if you can keep things simple it will help with adherence so let's jump right into my first meal of the day all right guys here are the ingredients for my famous dessert Proats. I'm gonna call this protmeal, right? Protein oatmeal, right? So you're gonna use Quaker Oats Quick One Minute Oats. PE Science, specifically the cake pop flavor. This is one of my favorite flavors. This is so key to the taste of this oatmeal. And if you go to pescience.com forward slash bricks, you can get 15% off all PE Science products. And PE Science is hands down the best nutritional supplement company in the world. So go ahead and, and take advantage of that. And you're gonna need some monk fruit sweetener, okay? Also, you're gonna need some liquid egg whites and some almond milk. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start off with one cup of oats. Yep, one cup of oats. Boom. We're gonna do one third of a cup. So we're gonna start off with one cup. So one and a quarter cup of almond milk. And then we put it in the microwave for four minutes. Now it depends on your microwave. I'm gonna end up adding some protein to this. Get 15% off of all PE Science products when you go to pescience.com forward slash bricks and use bricks at checkout. These are hands down the best nutrition supplements on the planet. Go to pescience.com and get yourself. So this is the consistency that you want right here. I'm gonna add one serving of peanut butter. And that's the dish. Bomb. We're gonna have Kim try it. All right, so I'm gonna have Kim do a quick taste test. That's really good. It's bomb, right? It's, it's, it's like a breakfast dessert almost. Okay, she grabbed it more. <laughs> it's, it's really good. It's good, right?
look squad, meal number two. Simplicity is the key. This is not the sexiest, the fanciest meal there is, but this is lunch. This is pretty much how I eat. I have a very business-like relationship with food. This is two pitas, three whole eggs, 12 ounces of egg whites, a zero sugar a and W. I'm gonna throw some hot sauce on it. And that's lunch, baby. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I picked up at the grocery store. I spent 80 bucks on this. This is probably gonna be enough food for the entire week. Of course, there's gonna be additional things that you need to grab. So this is my peanut butter, right? So maybe you take a screenshot of everything I actually put into the screen. So peanut butter, this is pita bread, right? 60 calories per pita. Volume eating, right? You get a lot of volume for a little bit of calories. So it's when it comes to snacks, rice cake is one of my go-tos. Rice cake with peanut butter and some whipped cream. Oh my God, bomb, bomb. Really macro friendly, really tasty, really satiated. 45 calorie bread, game changer. Grab you some of this 45 calorie bread. bread. Now, whenever I'm feeling snacky and I just want to eat something that fills me up or, or that makes me feel like I'm eating a lot, 100 calorie popcorn is one of my go to's, right? Volume eating, again, you get a lot of volume of food for a little bit of calories. One of my go to's when I'm having a sweet tooth. So, this yogurt, very high in protein, 12, 12 grams of protein for each package, right? Of course, some bags. I went with a more expensive bag, but to save some money, you can get the 99 cent drinks. It's up to you, right? Up to your budget, right? Of course, some oatmeal. Now, convenience is the key. Now, when I was losing weight, I kept things super simple. I didn't have these elaborate meals. It was two to three ingredients, right? So rice cauliflower is a good way to have a lower carbohydrate um, side. So rice cauliflower, frozen sweet potatoes, and these are super easy. You just pop them in the microwave. If you have your, your meat cooked, this is what I went with. Ground turkey, 93% lean. Simple, right? Throw that in the pan with some spices and gucci. Alright, I go with the frozen, with the frozen veggies. This is broccoli and cauliflower. I right, grab a few of those. A bag of red potatoes. You can have red potatoes, you can have sweet potatoes, you can have white potatoes. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. It's about the amount that you're actually eating. Some almond milk. I definitely keep almond milk on deck. Some egg whites. Definitely important. Now, one of the most important things when it comes to keeping things simple is going to be condiments. Condiments are going to be the key because if you're if you're eating what you're eating, it's, you're not going to be able to stick to it. So, this is one of my go-to condiments. It is sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is only 10 calories per serving, which is amazing. I just grabbed this joint. I love Obey hot sauce. You definitely got to keep a good hot sauce on deck. No sugar added tomato sauce, right? I mean, ketchup, whatever you want to call it. Again, this is about half the calories of the regular ketchup and that those calories add up here's another hack whenever you're feeling like you want to eat something i my go-to is to drink some carbonated drink so i've been drinking taco chico and i add crystal light to it bomb like it is super duper good and it, it keeps me satiated it keeps me from overeating so when instead of eating something I grab a carbonated drink. All right, what else we have? Of course, got to keep some Halo Top on deck. You guys are going to see me eating this today. Because here's the thing. You can eat ice cream, right? If you know how to track your macros, if you know how to keep yourself in a caloric deficit. And this is 290 calories per pint, whereas your, your normal ice cream would be, I don't know, 700, 800, 900 calories a pint. So. If you find ways to substitute and uh, not necessarily give up the foods you love, just make quick substitutions. Boom, this is a, this is a game changer. What we're gonna do now, Kim's gonna cook up the food and then uh, I'm gonna show you how I prepare in detail for three days. 
All right. Look guys, right now what she's doing is she's putting eight ounces of turkey in each container and we're gonna have, I think, I'm gonna tell you in a second how much, how much potatoes is gonna go in each. And matter of fact, we'll cut to the finished product. And just like that guys, three days of meal prep is complete. So as you can see, I like to prepackage everything so that you don't have to think. So I have my three days worth of oats. I have my three days worth of protein for my oatmeal. I don't prepackage the sweetener, but I'll just add it as needed. I have my three snacks, which is my uh, popcorn, 100 calorie popcorn. Let's just pretend that there's three protein bars here. I don't currently have the protein bars with me. They're actually in my mailbox. Shout out to PE Science. They sent me a brand new box. I just don't have it with me. And then, of course, the meat and potatoes of the meal. <laughs> the meat and potatoes of the meal. So this is eight ounces of lean turkey and eight ounces of red potatoes. I don't like to prep the, uh, the veggies in there. I just have the frozen veggies on deck. I pull them out, throw them in the microwave real quick, and then boom, I add them to, to my meal. And just like that, this was done. It was dirt cheap. This didn't cost a bunch of money. It took, how much How much time did it take you to pre prepare this? About an hour. She, it was done in about an hour. So an hour and a half from, from cooking to packaging. And I weighed everything out, right? I have my scale right here. I weighed everything out and uh, I made sure it hit my macros. And listen, preparing is key. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail, right? That, it, that saying is so true. So this is gonna be my dinner. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for my dinner, and then I'm gonna fast forward to my last meal of the day, which is gonna be my shake, and that's it. So let's get right to the shake part. Before we get to the shake, right? I was feeling a little snacky. I, I'm not gonna track this, but I wanted to keep it 100. So look, this is a rice cake with a half a serving of peanut butter. I put a little whipped cream on that joint. And it's lit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 